Sanju Bhagat is a farmer from Nagpur, India, and his life was pretty normal until his 20s when he started to develop a small bulge in his stomach. And as the years went on, the bulge grew larger, and people from his village would tease him that he looked like he was pregnant. They didn't know how close to the truth they were. Sanju's childhood was normal. He had no medical issues, at least none that he was aware of. He never showed signs of a tumor or any pain. Now, Sanju was poor, and from an early teenager, he had to work to feed his family. And he worked on farms, which is pretty physically demanding. In his 20s, he noticed that his stomach was growing, but it wasn't fat. The rest of his body was actually thin. Now, medical care was expensive, and since it wasn't causing him any pain, he just kept living his life. But as he got into his 30s, his large belly made work more difficult. He started getting back pains and was having trouble breathing. So in 1999, at the age of 36, Sanju collapsed when he couldn't catch his breath. He was rushed by an ambulance to a hospital in Mumbai. Dr. Ajay Mehta was on duty that day and immediately thought this was a tumor. And he said the tumor was so large that it was pressing on Sanju's diaphragm, disrupting his ability to breathe. Now, the doctors knew they had to remove the tumor as quickly as possible to save Sanju's life. Now, as they prepared for surgery, the medical staff noticed something strange. The tumor was actually feeding on the contents of Sanju's stomach. And when Dr. Mehta made the incision, gallons of fluid came out. He was then horrified to find this wasn't a tumor at all. When Dr. Mehta tried to extract a large tumor from Sanju's stomach, he said, to my surprise and horror, I could shake hands with somebody inside. Dr. Mehta realized this wasn't a tumor at all. It was actually the mutated body of Sanju's twin brother. The deformed fetus had arms and legs, bones, hair, a jaw, teeth, and somehow Sanju had carried the fetus inside his body since birth. And for 36 years, it continued to live and grow. Now, this medical condition is very rare. It's called fetus in fetu, and it's defined as the presence of one twin inside the body of another, which survives like a parasite. The fetus forms a cord like an umbilical cord that leaches blood and nutrients from its host. Now, only 200 cases of fetus in fetu have ever been reported. The earliest case occurred in the early 19th century. It was discovered by Johann Meckel, a German anatomist. Now, in that case, a woman who insisted she wasn't pregnant gave birth to a deformed fetus, and doctors soon learned that she'd actually carried her twin her entire life. Now, fetus in fetu happens early in embryo development when it's just a ball of cells called a blastocyst. Now, it's rare, but sometimes a blastocyst divides and grows twin fetuses. But in this rare case, they divide unevenly and one fetus gets stuck inside the other. Now, most of the time, the condition is fatal to both twins, which causes a miscarriage. But on some very rare occasions, one or both survive delivery. The condition usually goes unnoticed until the parasitic twin grows so large, it actually causes discomfort in the host, as was the case with Sanju Bhagat. Medical reports show that the fingernails of the fetus were quite long, indicating it had been alive for a long time after Sanju was born. And after Sanju recovered from the surgery, he went from 200 pounds to 88 pounds. Now, even though the case was considered by doctors to be a medical miracle, Sanju said his condition was a source of misery and shame. Now, Sanju didn't make a full recovery. He's in good health and now leads a normal life. All his life, people had teased him about being pregnant. They didn't realize how right they were. Thanks for hanging out. My name is AJ. This is The Y Files. If you had fun or learned anything, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, be safe, be kind, and know that you are appreciated.